Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to turn these Grinch toes into nice, tightly, neatly trimmed golden feet. So first, when I am doing a trim up like this on a golden or a lot of other breeds, so really any double coated breed that gets a foot trim and like a feather trim, this is approximately how I would do it. Um, so I start by using my clippers with a 30 blade attached. This is the Andis Pulse ZR clippers with an Andis 30 blade attached. And I'm just gonna gently take it in between all of the paw pads, clearing out all of that crazy fluffy hair. You do wanna be careful while doing this. The 30 blade is sharp and the webbing between the paws is definitely delicate. You don't want to be digging at the paw pads too much, but you do want to make sure that is nice and clean and tidy. You want to make sure that your blades are always cleaned and oiled before you do that. After I get the paw pad all cleaned out, I then start by slicker brushing up the fluff on the top of the paws and using straight scissors, I just cut off all of the stuff that um, stands up on top of the paw and I'm going pretty close to the paw itself because I like tight feet versus like fluffy feet so I use a slicker brush to get the bulk of it up and then you can see I use my fingers to go in between the paw pads themselves and pull out the hair and I'm using straight scissors again just to make the edges of the paw pads nice and tidy I slicker brush a second time here and you'll see I do it many more times because I like to make sure I'm getting all of the hair and it falls down really fast so you're not going to catch all of the hair the first time you brush or even the second time so I make sure to do it many 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 times until I'm sure I got everything. So after I cut off the bulk with straight scissors. Now I'm going back in with blending scissors or thinning scissors to just make the paw pad look very nice and a polished look. So the straight scissors might leave some scissor marks and um, it just looks a little more harsh if you only use straight scissors. So you wanna go back in with blending scissors to just make that paw pad look as pretty as possible. Then after I do that, I brush everything down with my slicker brush as opposed to up like you saw me do before. And I go back with straight scissors and just tidy up basically the edges. So right around the actual nail beds and the outsides of the paw pads, just to make sure again, I'm not missing anything because it takes several times to make sure you got everything. Then one of the last things I do mm -hmm. is just pull that stuff in between the two paw pads down and make sure that I got it. So next up I'm using a Le Pouche dematting brush and if you've never heard of this brush you are missing out. It is just the best thing ever. So it is amazing for getting out knots and tangles and it's really my go-to brush for a thick coated double coated dog like this. So I first brushed it out with my slicker brush. Now I'm going in with the Andis Wide Tooth De-Shedding Rake. And that's just to get some of the bulk dead hair out. And if you were doing a show dog or a dog that you wanted to be like super fluffy, you might not use this rake. Um, because it does strip some coat out and it mainly only strips dead coat out but it you know it does strip coat out so if you're looking for a super super full fluffy look you might not want to do this but in pet grooming we are kind of looking for a um, cleaner longer lasting groom not super fluffy show groom um, but anyways so i use a de-shedding rig to get out some of that undercoat and de-puff the feathers then I use a slicker brush and brush up the area in between the paw pad and where the long feathers start. I personally like this area to be really nice and tight, especially on pet dogs because it keeps them clean um, and tangle free and it's nice and easy low maintenance for the owner in between professional groomings. And then I hold the paw straight out or I should say hold the legs straight out comb the feathers and just do a little trim kind of angled at the bottom. You can see the majority of the feathering. I actually don't 
clip or a scissor at all. I leave it kind of lay natural and flat because this particular dog, his owner likes a nice natural look. And then I just use thinning cinders, scissors to blend up the bottom. And here you can see the before on this side. This is what the leg would look like before you trim it. And then the perfectly neat and tidy after on this side. I love this guy, he just has the best feet and such a good boy for grooming. And again, this is how I would do a golden foot and feather trim, but also any similar breed like Australian Shepherds, Great Pyrenees, Bernese Mountain Dogs, um, the list could really go on and on. But I hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks so much, bye.